All right, strap yourselves in, everyone, because today we are diving deep, deep into the world of beef. Ooh, beef. Season one, what a smash hit. I know. Eight Emmys. Huge. And the fans, oh my gosh, everyone is just clamoring for more. Yeah, everyone's so hungry for season two. And you know what? It's coming. It is. It's on the horizon. The internet is just buzzing about it. It is. It is. It's so cool, too, because it's an anthology, you yeah. know? Like, each season is totally different, like True Detective or The White Lotus, you know? Mm -hmm. So even if you miss season one, you can jump right in with us for this deep dive. You don't need any prior knowledge to, <laughs> to enjoy or to enjoy the flavor of this season. That's right. And let me tell you, from the articles we've been reading, uh, wow. Brand new cast, a totally fresh story. Yeah. Uh, this this is next level intrigue. I know. We're talking Oscar Isaac. Oh yeah. Carrie Mulligan. Yeah. Bye. Charles Melton. Kaylee Spaney. Oh. So you guys ready to unpack all these details? I'm so ready. Okay. So the articles paint this really intriguing picture. Mm -hmm. This season, it's all about a young couple, and they witness this huge fight. Oh, uh, between between. Between their boss uh -huh. and his wife. All right. So classic kind of workplace drama. It does sound kind of like water cooler gossip, right? Okay. But but here's the twist. It's not just any workplace. Okay. It's all going down at, wait for it, a country club. Not fancy. Owned by, drumroll please, a Korean billionaire. Ooh, I see where this is going. Right. <laughs> the possibilities are just endless. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm already like getting chills. Well, the articles, they keep using this phrase. Chess moves of favors and coercion. Like, just imagine the secrets. Uh, the power struggles, the drama simmering beneath the surface, you know, of this very, like, uh, perfect facade. So good. Okay, we've got this taste of the story. We know the setting. Mm -hmm. But let's talk casting. I mean, Oscar Isaac and D. Carey Mulligan mm. as, as this power couple. I know, I know. Like, and it's not just about their star power, you yeah. know, like their casting, it hints at how intense and deep this season could be. I mean, think about Oscar Isaac, right? He just got nominated for an Emmy for Scenes from America. Amazing performance. So raw and emotional. And now he's going to be, get this, Dr. Frankenstein. What? In Guillermo del Toro's new movie. Stop. No <laughs> way. Oh, like, doesn't that tell you something? Yeah. You know, like he's, he's drawn to those dark, kind of monstrous roles, you know? Yes. And Carrie Mulligan, I mean, talk about complex characters. She just gets nominated for an Oscar for Maestro. Yeah. And she's in Space Man on Netflix. I mean, she just brings this depth, this humanity to every role. Totally. They're both known for just, like, diving deep into these really complex emotions, right? Like, I think it's safe to say season two of Beef, it's going to be a wild emotional ride. Oh, I am already on the edge of my seat. Me too. And let's not forget the uh, the mastermind behind it all, Lee Sung Jin. Yeah. He created Beef. He's back. He's back as showrunner, mm -hmm. executive producer. I mean, he's the vision, you know? Season one, that was all him. So you, go to. It's going to be so good. So to have him back, ah, uh, that is that is a seal of quality right there. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's that, you know, that dark humor, social commentary, like just that unflinching look at, you know, all our flaws. Like yeah. he's not afraid to go there. It's exciting. Ugh, it raises the bar. And speaking of exciting, did you hear what Kaylee Spaney said about the season two script at Comic-Con? No. What? She called it Bats. Bats. Okay, what does that even mean? I know, right? I mean, what could be so crazy about a country club? Well, you know, the whole show was inspired by, like, a real-life road rage incident that Lee Sung Jin, he went through. Really? Yeah. Wow. So maybe maybe that's what she means, you know? Like, he's taking these everyday moments, these conflicts, and just, like, twisting them and turning them into something totally unexpected. Right. Like, we've all been there. We've all felt that road rage, that frustration. Right. And he's just, like, amplifying it, you know? Taking yeah. to a whole other level. It's going to be good. Welcome back, you guys. We are still deep in beef territory here, season two. I know. I'm still stuck on that, that word, bats. Right. A country club. Right. But that's what makes yeah. it so interesting. Like, all those manicured lawns, mm -hmm. the the uh, politely repressed rage, yeah, you know. Yeah, totally. It's just, there's got to be some, some dark stuff brewing under the surface, you know. Oh, yeah, all those perfectly timed insults. Yes. You know, those, those little digs over cucumber sandwiches. Uh-huh. And the passive-aggressive competition on the golf course. Oh, my gosh, yes. And maybe even some insider trading going on. Who knows? Ooh, maybe an affair. Ooh. A little blackmail. Maybe even a murder mystery. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when you're dealing with the ultra-wealthy, yeah. anything is possible. Okay. okay, hold on. Before we get too carried away with 
with all our theories. Let's let, let's get back to the articles, you know. Yep. What actually sets off all this drama? So it's that fight, remember? Mm -hmm. The one the young couple sees. Mm -hmm. It's like it kicks off this whole chain reaction yeah. of, of like favors and, and coercion, they keep saying. Interesting. Like like everyone is making these calculated moves yes. trying to, to game the upper hand, uh -huh. like, like chess almost. Exactly. Oh, it makes me think this... This billionaire who owns the club, is he is he like the puppet master, you know? He could be. He's pulling all the strings from behind the scenes. Well, he's at the top, right? Mm -hmm. And the articles say he's got a ton of influence. Yeah. So, you know, maybe he's trying to control everything, keep up appearances, especially when things start to go wrong. Ooh, that's so it's like they're all playing this game. Yeah. But but one wrong move. Mm-hmm. And their whole perfect world could come crashing down. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. A high stakes game of social survival. Yes. And the stakes just got a whole lot higher. You know, the articles hint that this fight, it's really just like the beginning. Oh, really? Like it's this little, little uh, pebble mm -hmm. that gets tossed into this, this, this dill pond. And it just creates these ripples that spread out and disrupt the whole country club, you know? Oh, my gosh. Like, we're watching this whole world unravel. Exactly. Ah, I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Yeah. It's so fun to, like, to speculate, you know? I know. We've got these little puzzle pieces, these hints and details at Lee Sung Jin. I mean, he's known for his twists and turns. Right? Oh, yeah. So I bet season two is going to be full of surprises. Absolutely. What do, you, what do you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, th these little hints, they're just the appetizer, you know? Mm -hmm. We're in for, like... A multi-course meal of of drama and intrigue. Ooh. It's gonna be so good. But but let's not forget about you know the the talent, the cast, the cast. Oscar Isaac, Carrie Mulligan. Like their involvement, it says a lot about the show. It does. It's prestige, right? Artistic ambition that that you don't always see on TV. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. it's like they wouldn't cast actors like that. You know, if the story wasn't amazing. Exactly. Like imagine Meryl Streep in your in your indie film. It's like boom, instant credibility. It tells you this is something special. It is. It's like beef. It's not just a show. It's like this carefully crafted story with all these layers. Yeah. It's funny. It's dark. It makes you think. And with those actors, those performances. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's gonna be powerful. And it's hard to categorize, you know. Right. Like it's a reminder that TV can be just as as artful and impactful as movies. Totally. And with you know a, a cast like this, Lee Sung Jin at the helm, I have no doubt season two it's gonna push boundaries. Oh yeah, and we are here for it. Yes. I mean, think about it. Yeah. A brand new story, a list cast, same amazing team, mm. more intensity, more complex characters than season one. Oh, oh and and that. Bats comment. Yeah, I know. What does it even mean? Right. We'll have to wait and see. Ugh, the anticipation's killing me. I know. It's <laughs> going to be one of the biggest TV events of the year for sure. For sure. Uh -huh. And we'll be here every step of the way. Uh Breaking it down, analyzing the characters, uncovering all those juicy details. Hmm. So, so stay with us. We've got more beef to devour when we get back. All right, deep divers. It's time to wrap up our delicious deep dive into beef season two. I know. I'm already hungry for more. Me too. We've we've covered the new story. We've dissected the amazing cast. We've talked about Lee Sung Jin's return. Mm -hmm. But there's there's one more layer to this beef board. You know, you know what I mean. You're talking about the setting, right? The setting. Yeah, yeah. Going from from the open road of season one, right, to this this very contained but 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 equally intense world of this country club. Oh yeah. It's a big shift. It is. It is. What do you think? It's like it's like trading a, a demolition derby for like a, a a very carefully choreographed waltz. Ooh. You know, but the tension it's still there. It's there. It's bubbling under the surface. What do you think this new setting tells us about what we might see, you know, theme wise mm -hmm. in season two? Well, it's all about class, right? Social status, all those little little uh, tensions that simmer beneath the surface in those. In those elite circles. All about appearances, right? Yeah. Keeping up that that perfect facade, those mm. manicured lawns, mm. the designer clothes. Fancy cars. It's all it's all an illusion. It is. What happens when when the facade cracks? Well, season one showed us how how even the smallest thing mm -hmm. can can shatter that illusion, right? 
Remember, it all started with road rage. Yeah. Like a, a very, very common experience. Right. Like we've all been there. We've all seen it. Right. And it just exposes those those raw emotions, you know, mm. the anger, the frustration that, that we all feel, you know, it's bubbling <laughs> under the surface of everyday life. Yeah. And, and in a place like a country club yeah. where it's all about appearances, mm -hmm. I feel like those emotions, they must be even more like controlled repressed totally so take that raw anger that frustration and put it in this this pressure cooker of of the country club world mm -hmm. yeah uh, volatile you're right. gonna be explosive oh yeah the potential for 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 those mind games oh yeah those those little digs the power plays yeah disguised as like friendly gestures and the hypocrisy yeah. right like they they think they're so polite they're so proper yeah but what happens when when their perfect little world starts to fall apart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> will they will they be able to hold on to that that, that uh, facade of civility, you know? Mm. Or, or will their true selves come out? I'm putting my money on on the ladder, you know? <laughs> Me too. I mean, that's what's so great about beef. Mm -hmm. It doesn't shy away from the messiness. Yeah. It shows, you know, how complicated people really are. It is. Even, even when it's, like, a little uncomfortable to watch. It reminds us that we're, we're all just... Just flawed humans, you know, yeah. trying to, to figure things out. Just trying to get by. Sometimes even the people who seem like they have it all together. Yeah. You know, they're just they're just one bad day away from from everything falling apart. That's true. So as we as we wait for for beef season two to premiere, I, I, I want to leave you with this with this thought. Given this new setting, you know, the this country club world, how do you think the show is gonna explore those those unique pressures mm -hmm. the anxieties that come with 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 wealth and privilege oh yeah how will that how will that play into into the the tension you know and the conflict that that, that we know is coming i love that mm -hmm. so deep divers get those theories going yeah i have a feeling season two of beef it's going to be a wild ride mm -hmm. and we can't wait to break it all down with you until then keep exploring keep questioning and keep diving deep